In this short video, we'll be going over some derivative rules that um, are really just good to know so that you can actually use them when you're differentiating formulas or equations. So first, the first rule is that the derivative of a constant is zero. So right over here, we have the notation that shows that the derivative of C, which is any given constant, will be zero. And this makes sense because as we talked about earlier, um, differentiating is all about instantaneous rates of change and keyword, it's about rates of change. So really a derivative is really just kind of, in a sense, slope. And if you graph any constant number, whether it be three or four or a million, you're if on an XY graph, you can actually go ahead and try that. Let's say we have f of x is equal to three. It's just gonna produce a straight horizontal line with no change in the x. So no matter what x value we put into this function, the final product is three because x is not a variable in the function. So there really is no change and that's why the derivative is gonna be zero. The next one is that the, a derivative scalar multiplier can be taken out. So this one's really just something that would, like a lot of people would just do naturally without even thinking about it and it could fly by them, but it's good to know. So what this says is basically that the derivative of, let's say we have a constant times a formula or function is the same thing as you can pull the constant out and multiply it by the derivative of the function. Or in another um, notation, we have c times f prime of x or c times the derivative d over dx f of x. So really that's just notation difference. And there's an example of that right here. So let's say we have the derivative of 7x squared. And if you were to do that using power rule, a lot of times you would just, and anyone really would just bring the two down, multiply by seven and subtract one and get 14 X to the power of one. But really when you're doing that, you're actually following this rule because what you can actually do is separate the seven so you can pull it out. As we see over here, it's been pulled out. You can pull it out. And then you can use the power rule to take uh, to get the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. Then you can multiply 7 by 2x and get 14x, which is the, de the derivative. And then there is the derivative addition and subtraction. So really, this, this is also something that a lot of people would probably just do without knowing this rule. But it's good to know the rule just for your own sake. And if you look at this, you see that f of x plus g of x, or you can say f prime of x plus g prime of x is equal to the derivative of f of x plus the derivative of g of x, just as we said over here. So what this really does is it allows you to use power rule to tackle polynomials. So if you had uh, a function that kind of looks like this f of x is equal to 8x to the power of 4 plus 3x to the power of 7 plus 4x to the power of 3 some random arbitrary numbers like a polynomial like that what you can actually do is you can kind of treat each individual term like its own function and you can use the power rule on each one of them. So let's go ahead and try this real quick. F prime of x. So you're gonna do eight times four times x to the power of three plus three times seven times x to the power of six plus four times three times x to the power of two. You can go ahead and simplify that if you want. But basically that's some basic rules of derivatives that it's good to be familiar with.